closing out the S&P at 5,625.80 points. Oh, great. Now we got Urinator. I love you. Do you love me? No. All right, you're a gay sexual harasser, and I don't appreciate it. Anyway, back to the markets. NASDAQ, it is up modestly, 0.16%. NASDAQ is at 17,754.82 points for the NASDAQ. I had been suggesting to people that they needed to hoard cash. And as you can see from Warren Buffett, uh, here's Dan Bongino. Everyone joined the Bongino army. It's much better than the capitalist army this Democrat piece of shit is in charge of. Oh, I'm come an actual on. patriot while this neocon DNC hack spouts liberal talking all points. All right, that's Trump enough. 2024. First of all, I'm going to get to the domestic politic in a minute. All right, we're talking about the markets first, and I think this is a very important subject matter, all right? Anyway, as I was stating, and uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon with Rumble Rant, going to buy my new truck when the rate cut happens. Well, it'd be a good time for you to do that because when once the rate cut happens, after a substantial time of monetary tightening, that is the signal that the Fed has gone too far in its monetary tightening. And when it cuts interest rates, that is that is oh, I'd Jesus. Buy that for a dollar. Oh, mate, I loved the show last time. Did you hear oh, yeah? Yank? British robot dogs are in operation in Ukraine at this moment. Great. They've been doing same as that Francis Pega Megabo, Canuck what? war hero, with bringing supplies. You should appreciate us more, fat boy. The hell are you talking about there, Count Binface? Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, once the Fed cuts rates, it means they've gone too far, and they're cutting rates in hopes of getting people back into the credit markets in order to bring in liquidity into the fiat currency market. All right, so that's why I'm telling you right now, once the Fed cut cuts rates, you may see a little bit of a dead cat bounce about maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month thereafter, and then you're going to see nothing but doom and gloom when it comes to assets, when it comes to pricing in general. I mean, folks, the whole purpose of the Federal Reserve raising interest rates for so long was to bring prices down. And as I've stated, the whole process of bringing prices down, the consequence of it is layoffs. The consequence of it is I'd job buy that cuts. For a oh, Jesus. Don't talk about my daddy ghosty like that Bongino. He actually takes care of his little capitalists. Great. Yeah. Love him, right. daddy. I'm sorry we're getting these text to speeches, folks, all right? I mean, they're meant for viewer interaction. And of course, you got Urinator, which is a gay sexual harasser. As I've stated, if I was a woman, he'd be in jail. All right, but because I'm a man, and I guess, you know, they can just go ahead. I'm talking about LGBTQ, go ahead and harass anybody. Well, this is where we're at at this point, all right? So anyway, I think right now people should start accumulating as much cash as possible. And that's why I've been telling people for the past two and a half years to hoard cash, hoard cash, hoard cash. Because those with the biggest I'd stack... Buy that for a dollar. Hold on, what the hell is this? This is an audio file, dum, folks. Dum, 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 the pirate dum, right. Dum, 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 oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we're dealing with this. I have no idea what the hell this is about. Jesus Christ. I'd buy that for a dollar. Unmute Rock's ass on Rumble. Maybe. Maybe. Shit, you stupid racist piece of shit. Jesus Christ, man. I'm telling you, man. Why don't you fucking trolls just go away, all right? You're fucking losers. As a matter of fact, we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about neats later on today, which describes probably a good percentage of you stupid, pathetic waste of piles of human protoplasm, all right? So stay tuned for that. We're still going to talk about that crap. Anyway, let's take a look at Bitcoin here. Bitcoin right now is sliding hard. It is now down 4.45% on the day. Whether it's Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies may be a lucrative short-term investment as well. Hey, ghost long-time listener from the Brony era. Oh, yeah? Just got my first respectable job at the post office. Well, congrats. Gonna be honest. 
got some debts, but I'm buying ammo and gear, baby. Good to see you again. Wait a minute. Whatever happened to Osho, by the way? Osho's still listening, all right? But cheers to that. And I, I mean, I don't know what you're buying ammo for. I hope that it's for investment purposes, all right? And by the way, urinator with a rumble rat. That's right. Bend over and let me come. I'm not going to say that, you sick, gay, sexual, harassing piece of trash. And we got Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, Nancy Pelosi is a reptilian warlock. And Camaro RS09, did you see the Rivian fire from the other day? <laughs> I'd buy that. Yeah, I saw dollar. it. Thank you very much. All so right. we're finally going to talk about how much of a yak ass is. Hey, Kits does a flip. I get it. You don't like yak ass. Kits does a flip. A newest member of the inner circle doesn't like yak ass, and he's not the only one. We don't need to be airing inner circle business on True Capitalist Radio. Thank you very much. All right. But once again, I do think that interest rates lowering could spell some pretty decent profits in the short term for crypto. All right. Because once again, Lowering rates means that the Federal Reserve is going to start printing money again. I'd buy that for a All right. dollar. And look at Roxas is enjoying some Popeyes claimed don't pause my neck. You're buying don't pause my neck hole? Anyway, take a look at crypto once the interest rates start cutting. All right. I'm just saying. All right. Anyway, look, we're, we're obviously getting bombarded by a bunch of pricks. All right. Obviously, a bunch of damn troll terrorists and cyber vermin. So let's go ahead and talk about the subject matter that I want to discuss. All right. Let's transition, no pun intended, into the issue that I definitely want to discuss. Put the PC shot on. This is a very serious issue, and it probably affects many of you. Take a look at this. One in five young people around the world are neats. Well, what are NEETS? It is an acronym to describe people that are young that have no education, all right, no, uh, what is it, no education, no employment, and no training is what it's called. NEETS. No employment, no education, no training. One in five young people fall under this category. And these are people that are under the age of, of 25. Yes, throughout the world. Yes. Take a look at this. In short, from the United Kingdom to China, youth unemployment has long been a concern, but across the world, there is a growing number of young people who aren't in school, don't have a job, and aren't in any sort of vocational training. These young people are considered neat, not employed, educated, or training. There are many factors. I'd buy that for a oh, Jesus. Well, Kremlin bulletin. Shut up! I, you're trying to dock somebody. Shut up! Anyway, oh, I'd Jesus. Urinator claimed, dollar. don't pause my neg hole. Look, all right, we get it. Stop buying, don't pause my neg hole, all right? And Silverado Dude 92, oh, ghosty, Homelander killed me wife and took me bloody son. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. That was a rumble rant. And Duke Orville, uh, what's going on, man? Happy Taco Tuesday. Put Neats on the front lines against Russia. Well, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. But I, I want to talk a little bit positively, all right, on what we can do to help Neats. Because Neats are still young people. I mean, these are people under the age of 25 is what we're talking about here. This statistic of one in five young people, this is one in five young people under the age of 25 that are neats. And, you know, I just wish that you young people that either fall under this category, I hope that you recognize that right now in your 20s, this is the best time that you're ever going to have the most youthful energy, the most endurance, the most stamina that you could ever assert in your physical life. And you're just wasting it away being a neat. Now, this is definitely... I'd buy that hold on, we got dollar. Winston here. Thoughts on Helmet Boy and me going to Anime NYC last weekend? Oh, we saw the Phase Connect concert and it was amazing. A lot of really cool people there. Everyone looked normal. Your postulations that it's a bunch of weirdos and uglies was wrong as expected. Yeah, dude, Winston, no offense, but you posted your picture in the goddamn uh, inner circle and you look like the guy that explodes during the movie Big Trouble in Little China. 
All right? You look astronomically ginormous. And, you know, once upon a time, since you want to sit here and, you know, you know, want to you know talk shit about this, once upon a time, Winston, you know, you weren't that tremendously robust. All right? I mean, you were within, like, I don't know, maybe 75 pounds from, you know, getting into normal weight. You have completely ballooned to an unbelievable, like the little girl from Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory turned into a fucking blueberry. All right? So I'm just saying this is just, uh, you don't have room to talk, buddy. And uh, Beer Force, haven't been around TCR in years. I'm glad you're still going and cheers. Well, thank you, Beer Force. I'm sorry that we're getting heckled by a bunch of troll terrorists and cyber vermin. We're still trying to get to serious subject matters on the True Capitalist Radio Show. So thank you very much for listening, and I appreciate it. But once again, since Winston Fujimori brought up AnimeCon or whatever the hell he you know attended, one in five young people are neats. Now, what is causing this problem? All right? What's causing this problem is is the fact that this is a byproduct... I'd buy that oh, for Jesus Christ. What? I was a neat for six months before finding the full-time job I currently work for. My parents didn't have a problem making me feel like a loser. My boss is a really cool dude for A. Also, this is a boring show. Put the engineer yeah, on. Yeah, well, thank you for the five bucks, you stupid loser, all right? And, dude, Vox Artificials, what do you want? I skipped your one dollar rant. Oh, okay, what is it? Thoughts on Doritos Locos Tacos. They're fucking stupid, all right? They're for neats like you that guzzle down Mountain Dew, which has been proven to turn in, turn a mouse into liquid shit. Jesus Christ. And five-finger prostate punch. Eat a salad, Winston, you fat fuck, is what he said. All right. Enough. I think this neat situation is a byproduct of our success. Only in a successful society... Do we have people that can condone and support people that do absolutely nothing? I mean, it is a luxury in today's America for people under the age of 25 to have this type of ridiculous attitude. And you see, there's a lot of reasons for this. There's a lot of reasons that people, you know, like to talk about, yo, I don't I don't want to be any, I don't care. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus. Happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to His glory. The British people must rise and take what's theirs. Great. They must snipe all <laughs> Oh, no, you fucking piece of shit. Anyway, Alexander the Resurrection with a rumble rant. I know there's a lot of young guys in this community. As someone who is now 30... Works 12-hour shifts five days a week, married with children, take advantage of your young years. I'm not a young guy anymore. And that's coming from some trolley bastard over there. That's, that's Alexander the Resurrection. But this is a, a very heartfelt attempt at trying to tell you, Neats. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What? What? Put on the front lines against the Russians and tell them the Russians are actually Palestinian children. Oh, come on. Their natural violent tendencies will awaken and the Russians would be obliterated. Oh, please. All right, I've had enough of this crap, all right? If you're going to donate text-to-speech, <laughs> say something positive! Long-time listener, been listening to you for a while. Gonna go out for a drive with my grandma's F-150 while listening to you. You fucking cheers, idiot. That was baby, a cheers. fucking mass shooter's name, you fucking moron. All right, cut the macabre crap. All right, we're talking about neats here, which probably encompasses many of you. And I'm trying to inspire you uninspireless fucking losers. All right, I'm trying to tell you that you are so lucky that you have some dickless fucking parent or some stupid family member supporting your neat ass. This is a byproduct of a successful society. Only in a successful society do we have this. Do you think that we have neats in third world countries? Do you think that we have neats in Yemen? Do you think we have neats in sub-Saharan Africa? Do you think we have neats in the barrios in Latin America? Absolutely not, we don't. And that's why I'm telling you, young people, you're either going to have to do something for yourself 
for your future or you're going to be overtaken by other people that are going to come into this country and they're going to be the productive ones. They're going to be the ones working. They're going to be the taxpayers. And at some point, these people, these new crop of people that are coming into this country, once they become the taxpayers, they're not going to be so sentimental about your fucking neat bucks. They're not going to be so sentimental about your EBT or welfare or any of that shit. All right? So I deplore you, or implore you, excuse me, I deplore you as well, but I implore you, please take what I'm trying to tell you very serious. You're in your 20s. If somebody is supporting you and condoning you being a loser, then why are you wasting your life and wasting your time without trying to do something for some monetary benefit? I mean, if you're not paying any rent, if you're not paying for any food or any necessities, then what are you doing? Right now, you should be using the endurance, the stamina of your youth to go out there and work and save all your goddamn money, for Christ's sake, if mom and dad are going to let you live there like a bum. But you sitting there and getting your thumbs bruised on video games, obsessing over cartoons and being a man-child, is going to do absolutely nothing. And while you're sitting there making nothing of yourself, we've got immigrants coming in here that are working circles around your stupid, lazy asses. And I'm telling you, mark my word, these people are going to be the new working class, and they're not going to have any sympathy for you people. And hold on, this is an audio file, folks. Jeez. No. No. In a fucking wheelchair. Oh, I'm ride or die with Trump. Fuck and you. And a grand dragon racist. You people piss me off. So what if I was Jewish? Israel's our greatest ally. You're a self-hating No, no, skip. Skip <laughs> that shit, you stupid racist bastards, man. Why do you gotta do that shit? Why? And the big one new, hi, Grandpa. Great to see you finally got basic computer skill to run a PC Vita. Shut up, idiot. Red eyes, black dra- <laughs> What the hell is this? Hey, Ghost. Did you know that WCC lives at Westfield? No, no, Street no! City? Take that fucking dox off, you goddamn troll terrorist bastards, man! And Red Eyes Black Dragon with a rumble rant. Talk about gray aliens and reptilians. All right, shut up, asshole. We got Silverado dude with a rumble rant. Ghost, you inspire me to type 333 cheers, baby, cheers. Great. Trolling the interweb, the article said across the globe there's neats. <laughs> I'd buy that for a Hold dollar. on, hold on. Serious talk. The sad thing is, I blame how corrupt public education is on this neat problem. I'm gonna Many get to that. Many jobs require college degrees and yet. So many colleges are corrupted. You're exactly right there, kids. I was going to get to that, but I got these fucking trolls over here. But you hit the nail on the head, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Cheers to kids does a flip. Uh, trolling the interwebs with a $5 rumble rant. Uh, the article says across the globe there are neats. I think most of them are in India and Denmark. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. El Foxo Employed Loco. as a full-time electrical and controls engineer. Also do some contract electrical design work, all while editing your show. I don't ask much from the world. But you buying your most loyal employee a tooth would really help out. Buying Cheers, a tooth, man. yeah. I mean, I don't know what happened to your tooth, dude. The Poster Club, free Mega Max and Rocket. Dude, just shut up, all right? Y'all are trolly <laughs> bastards. i buy that for a dollar. Prevent. Minaza boot prisrek, Iasabirayus priestry leak Joe Bidena. What? No, no, no. No, no, dude, that's enough. We don't condone whatever the hell that was said there. And mod me coward, hashtag Mega Max Life Matters, unban him, you racist. All right, listen. Look, I'm gonna try to do this again. All right, I don't wanna I don't wanna continue to conduct this show like this. I deserve more respect. I'm trying to extend my hand out in friendship, of course, with a rubber glove on it, to you fucking neats. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Christ. You just want more illegal immigrants so you can be a cheap son of a bitch and not have to pay them minimum wage Aww. while they build you a third summer home. Aww. Aww. Well, you know what, Gino? Tough titty. Tough titty said the kitty, but the milk is still good. How do you like that? All right? You know, I don't want cheap labor. I just want labor that has integrity. 
I want labor that doesn't think that it's entitled to labor. That's what I want. You've got these people that are neats. You want to know why they're neats? Because many of them have the ego the size of the goddamn Eiffel Tower, and they think they should be running Fortune 500 companies, and they have no experience in shit. All right? They don't have any experience in shit. And you see, because they're not getting these you know, six-figure jobs right after, I don't know, either college. Some of these neats actually went to college. Some of them haven't done anything. They just think they're entitled to something, and many of these neats believe that they're above certain levels of employment. And it's ridiculous. All right? It is utterly ridiculous, and this is why I'm telling each and every one of you young people under the age of 25 that fall under this neat category, you need to take your goddamn head out of your ass, and you need to recognize that you are wasting the greatest years of your life doing absolutely nothing. When you're an old piece of shit, because believe me, you're going to get older, just ask Winston fucked up Fujimori, who still thinks he's 18, even though he's fucking over 30-something. Let's put it that way. All right? You're going to be his age, and you're going to wonder, what the fuck did you do with your fucking life? And you did nothing! You did nothing! The hell is this? What the hell is this crap? No, 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 you fucking doxy piece of shit! I'd buy that. And was Ghost equals Boomer Nick Fuentes? Well, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean, all right? Although Nick Fuentes has taken every one of my takes and using them as his own right now. I just want to fucking put that on the record. And Vox Artificial says, you don't like us being neat? Would you rather us be messy? Yeah, real funny, you jerk nut. Anyway, as I was stating, folks, all right, you people are wasting the most valuable years of your life. You will never have the energy that you have in your 20s. I mean, when I was in my 20s, dude, I could, I could work... 12 hours a day, still go out drinking, and sleep for two hours and do it all over again. And did that many a time in my 20s. All right? That's what you should be doing. I'm not saying you have to party. I'm not saying you have to do anything. <laughs> but do something for, for monetary time. gain. You won't want illegal immigrants here when they <laughs> your wife and that stupid <laughs> bitch Kamala right, Harris yeah. trying. Yeah, go fuck yourself. All right? Out here in Texas, you know, it, we got a lot of fucking armaments out here. Right? We got the right to carry without any kind of encroachment by the fucking law enforcement. All right? So I, I ain't afraid of shit. I'm, I, I, I walk around strapped. All right? I, I ain't worried about that shit. All right? So anyway, as I was stating, as a matter of fact, you're more likely to get uh, assaulted, sexually assaulted, physically assaulted, murdered by an American by a hundredfold. And these are facts. Okay, every time I look, and this is a violent city out here in San Antonio, Texas, every time I look at the local news, all I see is young people that are either second, third, or fourth generation pricks that are out here committing all the murders, that are out here committing all the goddamn vandalism, all the robberies, <laughs> all that, that shit. that skip this crap but anyway as i was stating all right if you fall under a category of being a neat i don't blame you totally all right but you are the one that needs to take responsibility for yourself and i'm not saying that you don't have to watch anime i'm not saying you don't have to play video games but you need to recognize that that activity is nothing but junk food for the brain and it's not meant to obsess over. It's not meant to make and base your life over. It is meant to just, like, tune out the world after you fucking work, after you made a living, after you paid your rent, and that sort of thing. But no, what many needs do is immerse themselves into these fantasy worlds, whether it's cartoons, gaming, whatever the case might be, and it has a lot to do with how we're raising these kids. And we're going to talk about that here in a second. And urinator with a rumble rant, these immigrants know that you walk around strapped. That's why you go after vulnerable people like kids. Remember the 13-year-old strangled by two ven... Dude, listen to me. You're, you're talking about a couple of isolated incidents, all right, involving immigrants compared to the massive amount of violent crime 
that is now partaken by American citizens. All right, many of which we're paying on the dole, by the way. And Vox Artificial, I'm, I don't, don't ever donate me a damn game again. All right, asshole. Anyway, as I was stating, one in five people around the world are neats. Now, what is the cause of this? I mean, what, who, do we, who do we blame for this? Well, I think Kitts hit the hit nail on the head that education is a big part of the problem. Well, education doesn't necessarily educate anybody. I mean, I've always said that the education system is the exact same system as the prison system. And any parent that's actually sending their child to this public education prison system gets what they pay for. All right? Now, instead of working on how to facilitate knowledge to your child, they're worried about cell phone bans now. All right? They're worried about cell phone bans in school. The official website of the television anime adaptation of Shinobu Takayama's oh, Hagakura Who Mangu cares? Five supporting Who the hell cares? Promotional video on Tuesday. Who the, the fuck anime cares? Is scheduled to premiere in October 2024 on Tokyo oh, MX. Can y'all Sun stop TV, this fucking text to speed shit? Seriously. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Ghost went to college, but his major was undecided. He's spoken to his college advisor to try and get all the minors his campus offers. You're a fucking sick piece of shit there, fucking Menno Ray, all right? You're a Woody Allen butt-loving piece of shit. And Beer Force, playing video games and watching anime is not a substitute for a personality. Well, thank you, Beer Force, and once again, cheers for listening to us once again. And you're exactly right. And Vox Artificial, not even Street Fighter 2? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Anibus, the only people here that are neats are those kids who sell their asses off for TF2 keys... Jag, Sapphire, and half the TC. Yeah, shut up, fucking Anubis, all right? All right, you're the fucking kind of guy that questions your fucking sexuality every time you take a big turd, all right? So don't talk shit. And Five Finger Prostate Punch, so are the majority that commit crimes, are they urban demographics? Well, statistically, it does suggest that when it comes to FBI statistics, but we're not talking about that right now, all right? And President J, do you use your strap-on on urinator? Yeah, fuck you. Trolling the interwebs, LOL, they want to ban cell phones because kids are able to disprove teachers' bullshit instantly. You got the, you hit the nail right on the head there, trolling the interwebs, because that's exactly what I was going to allude to before I got interrupted by a bunch of troll terrorist cyber vermin scumbags. That's exactly right. They want to ban cell phones so that the bullshit that these very unqualified teachers regurgitate from some other fucking book that they're reading out of, these kids can't call them out on their absolute hypocrisy or absolute lunacy when it comes to facilitating knowledge to them. And you see, this is the problem. I mean, this is one of the problems of the neat generation. Because in my opinion, what school does, it doesn't teach children how to be independent people. That's why us as American citizens, we can't be naive. We can't fall for this bullshit <laughs> that teachers, that all right, that teachers are somehow some fucking precious gem of society. All right. Have you read? I'd buy that Jesus fucking dollar. Christ. The only what? thing the education system teaches the youth is how to be docile cattle and comply with being systematically replaced. Type 333 right, to snipe right. chlamydia Harris no, www. No, no. www. www. You're a fucking idiot. And uh, Anibus, that's Rich coming from Urinator's boyfriend. Real funny, you're a uh, fucking Anibus. Amon me coward, if a teacher taught the process to get the answers rather than trying to just say the answer <laughs> is fuck you, we'd see a much different story. Greenland. The world's largest island is 80% covered by ice and has the lowest population. Who gives a shit globally. about Greenland, you asshole? The largest national park. Who gives a shit? Eric the Red is a promotional stunt. Fascinating, right? Oh, Type God. B2 to kick ghost in the balls. Type B2 to kick ghost in the balls. Look at that. My fans, by the way, over here. All right. Probably a neat. And Vox Artificial strongly agree with you about public education. It's nothing more than a bureaucrat farm. Well, that's what I'm trying to get across. 
And that's why I'm saying I think this is a huge contributing factor of why we have so many NEATs. Because many of these folks, all right, especially that have this NEAT mentality, I could only imagine the degradation of their self-esteem happened by being commiserating with these populations in public education. You know, the peer pressure, you know, the, the social dynamics of education. And like I said, it's just like a prison system. Whenever you take students from point A to point B, they have them file in a single line, they have them put their hands behind their back, and they travel from point A to point B. Where did fucking students eat? Shitbag cafeteria, just like a bunch of prisoners. Just like prisoners, they take their tray, and somebody slops glop on it, and they fucking go and sit in the cafeteria. I mean, it's the same system. And we wonder why we have... So many fuck-ups, so many people that are emotionally broken and mentally inept, it's because of this factor right here, the public education system. And that's why, if you're a part of the education system, I spit on you. All right? I can't stand you fucking public education. All right? Because you people think that you're so fucking great, and yet, every time I confront an educator or an administrator... And I say, take a look at the product that you people are producing out here. Take a look at the products that you people are producing. Y'all haven't done a goddamn thing, and yet y'all have job security, y'all have benefits, and y'all keep bitching about how you want more and more. Fuck all you people in education. You are a contributing factor to this neat phenomena, and you, I'm surprised you people can sleep at night. But then again, you're soulless fucking bureaucrats. You're soulless fucking bureaucrats. You're no different than the folks that were Nazi guards next to the fucking gas chambers. All right? What did they say at Nuremberg? I was just taking orders. I was just taking orders. I was just doing my job. The same shit with these fucking teachers. Same shit. Time W if ghost loves me. Oh, shut up, urinator, you fucking gay sexual harasser. And Anibis says, so let's take away women's rights. And by that I mean the 19th Amendment and all unearned privileges from the first wave feminist to the current. What are they going to do? They can't even beat a tranny. Well, I think that's a lot of copium there, Anibis, and that sounds a little MGTOW or incel if I don't say so myself. I'd like to... You see, you neats are lucky that we aren't growing up 150 years ago. I'd buy that all right. for a dollar. Zigzag. A character from Louis Sacker's Holes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who gives a shit? His and tall, lanky appearance. His real name is Ricky. Who he gives a fuck? struggle at Camp Green Lake. He gets his nickname from his unpredictable oh, actions. Oh, God. Have you read Holes? No, but I'm sure you like manholes, all right? Anyway, Vox Art Officials, public education is about breaking your spirit and you will uh, to pursue opportunities... Uh, to get you to submit to a lifetime of working the same government slash office job. I'd buy that for a Snakes. Dollar. Hentai's life. Are you spend five bucks to fucking say that, you stupid sick fuck? Are you kidding me? This is what I'm talking about. This is why six out of ten young men are fucking choking their own chicken. Jesus Christ. And Five Finger Prostate Punch, no, it's because these bitches these days are toxic as fuck. Well, that's why you gotta have good game, brother. You understand? That's why you gotta have good game. Unfortunately, you ain't got none there, boy. Uh, trolling the interwebs, Ghost, we've all seen those worthless TikToks. My dream job as a Google marketing demographic zoning administrator, and then they spend the next four hours eating. Well, those jobs aren't around anymore. They're trolling the interwebs. All right? I mean, those jobs aren't around anymore. We're in a recession now. But I'm just simply stating that many women are now completely okay with being single. And that's why you have a lot of TikToks. Speaking of TikToks, of people that are specifically women over the age of 40 talking about, Hey, I'm 42 years old. It's Friday. I'm having a beer. No kids. Nothing to worry about. Own my own house. Have 40000 in the bank. Feels good, man. You've got a whole bunch of TikToks of women doing that. And why? Because they're trying to bask like someone that would be a man who would be successful. The problem is, 
is that you can't act like a man if you're not a man. And you see, if you want to go out and soil your oats out there as a woman, I mean, you'll find that, hey, you can find as many pogo sticks to hop on as you want to. The thing is, is you're never going to have a man that respects you. And regardless of how these women try to cope on TikTok, they are lonely in that two-story house of theirs with their cats or their dogs. They're lonely. And why are they lonely? Because this is what they have to choose from, folks. The six out of ten men that are single. Why? Let's take a look at why they're single, all right? Look at this. 18 to 19, 29 years old. Take a look at that shit. Take a look at that shit. And Anibis says those women are propped up by affirmative action, government benefits, and climbing the corporate ladder with their mouth like your girl Carmala. Hey, dude, listen. I mean, that may be the case in some cases, but that ain't the case in all cases, all right? I mean, in aggregate, right now, women are more of the workforce than men. You know what, Anibus, maybe you should start doing the same thing if you're that upset about it, man. I mean, obviously, you ain't got the skills to pay the bills, baby. If you had the skills to pay the bills, you wouldn't be worried about some what some dumb bitch makes. Anyway, take a look at this once again. Look at this. Men and women who say they're single. That is a massive discrepancy there. A massive discrepancy. All right. Why U.S. adults who say they're sick? Why? All right. Let's let's take a look at why. Where, where, where are the fucking reasonings? Where, where are they? Where's the fucking reasons, you dumb fucking stupid article? All right. Here it is, I guess. All right. It says the new, new post-COVID numbers would surely back up previous research that pandemic has made men prefer an evening alone instead of actually meeting a partner. All right. Just half of the single men as a whole responded that they're looking for a committed relationships and or casual dates. So this means that they're fucking just, they're just canceling them all out, out together. All right? And, and what's really sad is that it's men and their own voluntary choices. Dude, listen to me. Everybody in Rumble, shut the fuck up right now, man. All right? This is why I hate most of you people. All right? Most of you people that listen to me, I can't fucking stand you fucking people, all right? I mean, I, I, I completely understand why the globalists are injecting you fucking people with whatever the fuck they're injecting you with, and they're fucking filling you up with all this uh, preservative crap. I mean, keep drinking the Mountain Dews, keep fucking eating the fucking preservatives and all that fucking shit. You people make me sick, all right? All right, and for all you religious pricks out there that are all, you know what, go set, so sad. You think that these people, look at these people right now. I'm glad that the damn rumble chat is on the screen today. You think that these pieces of shit, you think that these are God's special creatures out here? You think that these fucking losers that are flapping their fat Cheeto stained fingers on the keyboard, do you think that these stupid, pathetic wastes a pile of human protoplasm are anything fucking holy or anything that has anything to do with the holiness or any of that shit? Absolutely not. Most of these people are fucking pathetic waste of digital trash and they are contributing nothing <laughs> to society. Instead of bitching and moans, all they Maybe do is bitch and moan. should try harder if they are lonely. A two-inch area of real estate doesn't cause empires to fall like in the old days, old man. Yeah, all right. I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to mean, you dumb prick. And Tesla Cyberheart, who pissed in your Cheerios? Hey, fucking stupid ass neats. All right, the fucking American young people. All right, because you know what? I'm tired of this political cycle. I'm not gonna. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I still want to talk about this neat thing. But this political cycle is a testament on where we are when it comes to the social dynamics of this country. I mean, if a politician really wanted to be serious and really wanted to get a phrase or a message across to the damn American people. It should be that the American public sucks. The American public absolutely fucking sucks. All right? The, these people are what is influencing our children, and this is why they're fucking idiots. All right? They're fucking morons. I say Bible verse now. I have pursued mine enemies and destroyed them and turned none again until I had consumed them. 
That mean I kill you, wo G.I. Great. I kill you and William Cannon. Hey, hey! True Hanoi Radio as your retard needs die to Vietnam. All right, that's enough. 333. And Blade the Stellron Hunter with a rumble rant. Hey, what's up, Ghost? Thanks for the show today. Recently got promoted to my job. Hey, cheers. And having my birthday this weekend. Hope you and the Angie can sing me happy birthday. Cheers. And hope to see you in the TCR chat. Thank you very much, a Blade the Stellron Hunter. Happy birthday to you. Cheers to you, man. All right. But once again, uh, internet addiction and its effects on teens. Let me give you another example. Mr. Beast. Perfect example. You all know I always hated Mr. Beast. I always thought that this guy was a complete fraud. He's a scumbag. He sells charity porn, yet everybody and their brother loves him because he did the Oprah scam. All right? Ghost equals Kai Sinat for autism. Fuck you, idiot. All right? He did the Oprah scam. Remember when Oprah gave a car to everyone in her audience and everybody was like, oh my God, yeah. That's because Pontiac, which was the ad, which was the fucking car that was given out to the studio audience of Oprah, was an advertiser. All right? They gave her those cars in exchange for free advertising. The same shit with Mr. Beast. And take a look at what's happened to Mr. Beast now. Now he has now found himself intermixed with what seems to be a prevalent theme amongst many of these social media stars, and that is getting mixed up in a sexually inappropriate way with minors. All right, same thing with Dr. Disrespect. I mean, why is it that every single fucking time, it seems to me that every one of these social media influencers... Oh, Jesus. Oh, so you were saying it's my fault no girl wants to be with me? I have a good fucking job, ghost. So that's bullshit. Maybe I should kidnap one and dress her up in an EV nappy. All and right, he that's not Jag Deluxe me. Ray. He's so warm and sticky. That's Oprah. not a fucking. That's not Jag Deluxe Ray asshole. And trolling the interwebs, and then they had to pay taxes for the car, and some of them defaulted on it because of it. And what is this? Ghost equals Mr. Beast of the under. Fuck you! Don't compare me to that fucking Mr. Beast. I hated that piece of crap. I always, there's not one piece of audio footage of me ever fucking giving any kind of adulation to that fucking fraud. I knew it, and guess what? He who laughs last, laughs loudest. So, ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, before I got rudely interrupted once again by a bunch of fucking troll terrorists, internet addiction, not very good for young people, and they are being influenced by, in my opinion, it seems to be like a crop of pedophiles, which seems to plague many of the social influencer circuit and many of the streamer circuit. And I think it's a disgrace. So many of you young people, whoever you admire on this internet, you know, whoever you're jocking, I think you need to think twice because each and every one of these people are just human. They are no different than you. Nobody deserves any kind of cult of personality adulation. All right, and I hope that you young people recognize that. Anibus says Jag and other job stealing his parents' credit card. All right, shut up, asshole. But anyway, I am not down with any of these social media influencers. That's why I have never got interviewed by any of them. That's why I don't like the whole fucking chattering class circuit of this crap. I don't like the streaming scene. I think it sucks. And hold on, Valentine Broadcasting, can we negotiate for a ghost show tonight? I'll, I'm going to do a ghost show before the end of the week. Let's put it that way, all right? I, I'm going to do a ghost show, Billy V, before the end of the week. So, look, another thing, since we're talking about what's making meats, how about psychotropic drugs? Put the PC shot on. Psychotropic drugs. I mean, the fact that we've got young people questioning what gender they are. All right, give me a fucking break. And what is this? Ghost equals Facebook Marketplace, Mr. Beast? Get the fuck out of here. The, f the fact that we're arguing whether or not there's more than two genders is just unbelievable because, because many of you people that are just completely abnormal that think that you're going to somehow meet your 
cartoon girlfriend or your waifu or you're living vicariously through some goddamn VTuber fucking fat whore who's probably a fucking, you know, fucking like like that fucking stupid bitch, uh, what the fuck's her name? I forgot her fucking name. Who cares? Kershey. Right? I like that fat whore. All right? You can hear the fat in that bitch's windpipe, and yet you got all you stupid neats out here who can't get pussy until it had you that are out there... <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, Kerchy, yeah. And what the hell is this ghost equals flea market Turkey Tom? Yeah, I heard t Turkey Tom got cucked over there, all right, huh? Maybe that's the problem he's projecting on over there. Hey, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, Quaker Ghost, yeah, yeah, psychotropic drugs, we all heard it. When are you going to talk about psychoartic drugs, Ghost? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but, you know, idiot, what it is. Hey, hold on. What, what, Winston, I am not going to buy... <sighs> hold on. If you're going to show your ugly face on this, then I'll go ahead and post it, all right? Oh, look, hold on just a second. Why don't you show your face, fucking Winston? How about showing your fucking face? I mean, dude, seriously. I mean, why don't you show that disgusting face? Dude, I'm not even joking. You look like some guy... That's in, you know, some adult porn theater at 2 in the morning looking for somebody to, I don't know, sniff their underwear. All right, I'm just saying. Anyway, that that's what Winston wanted me to take a look at. Uh, another, you know, potential neat there. But look, aside from the psychotropic drugs, which many of you are on, and if you're on it, it's probably because your dickless parents didn't even want to deal with you. And the psychology industry coupled with the edge enter excuse me, coupled with the I mean it's like fucking twice, three times a week <laughs> I see that, that shit. If helmet boy can score a tuber, so can I. Yeah, you think you could score a VTuber Vox Artificial? Is that something to be proud about? And you and what did you say? I'm serious when I said I'd done some art to replace the beer chick. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Ghost is the E to P of Von Life. Oh, fuck you, asshole. And look, stop making anime fied fucking shit of me like this, all right? Stop doing it. I Look, I produce my own anime there, Vox, all right? I produce my own anime. And it's on my YouTube channel. And by the way, I, I'm, I'm taking donations right now. You can even donate on the show. Just say that, hey, I would like my name to be on the credits at the end of the next Ghost Politics Adventures anime. All right? And believe me, we're taking over anime. I'm not, I'm not joking around. And you want to know why many of you weebs don't like the anime that I produce? Because I'm talking about fucking you. I'm talking about you autists and you Asperger idiots that want to sit there and use that shit as a crutch for the rest of your life. And it sticks right in your goddamn crawl when I'm out here yanking you idiots out of the tarred card closet. And that's why you people are pissed about it. All right? And let me tell you, if you actually want to do something better with your life, all right? If you want to, if you want to do something better with your goddamn life, I strongly suggest you entertaining joining the True Capitalist Radio membership chat. And let me explain to you why. All right, we already have a few success stories of former neats. All right, let me give you one example. There was a guy that used to patronize not just this show, but mostly the ghost show, named Barry Blackberry. And Barry Blackberry, I was hard on him. I talked garbage about him. <laughs> I, I humiliated him. Will you service my schmeckle? Shut up, fucking idiot, all right? I humiliate. Hold on, what is this? Uh, Five-finger prostate punch? Holy fuck. Winston, put down the fort and lose some weight, you fat fuck. But anyway, as I was stating, Barry Blackberry, I was really hard on this guy. Someone donated him in. All right, I, th I, don't, know if, I don't know who donated him into the Thunderdome, but somebody donated him to the Thunderdome. And when I got him into the Thunderdome, I started talking to him. And I started asking him, hey, what's going on, Barry Blackberry? And guess what? He was given the path, as many of you, by some psychologist or some educator that, I, I've got this, I've got that, i got this, I can't learn, I can't do this, I, I got Asperger's, I got autism, whatever the fuck it was, alright? 
And I simply told Barry Blackberry, just as I tell everybody, that, look, Barry, you're better than this, all right? You know, he, he's, he's in a bad situation, all right? He, he's, he's in a bad situation because he, he, he's living with his single mother. His mother has younger children, and he was just being a neat. He was just, stay, just fucking there. He didn't do anything. And then through my encouraging and through my excessive linguistic pressure and through my very tough love, I kind of forced, or I should say kind of forcefully forced Barry into looking for a job. And guess what? Barry Blackberry found a job. And I told Barry Blackberry, when you find a job, just show up on time. Do your job. Don't talk much. Don't commiserate with the employee politics. You know, <laughs> don't do more dollar. than what you're supposed to. Hello, ghost. This is Dr. Smith, a representative oh, of the Jesus. National Autism Center. I have seen your cartoon that was posted last week, and we are very interested in collaborating oh, with you. Oh, fuck you, Let me man. Get, these cartoons are very stimulating for our patients. Go fuck off, whoever fucking donated <laughs> that, dude, all right? For a dollar. Don't forget to join the Thunderdome so you can knock the teeth out of our resident low cow peppermint and yak ass. Yeah, peppermint is in the Thunderdome, believe it or not. He came back. I don't know why. But look, Barry Blackberry, all right, I told him, get any job. Don't tell him you're Asperger autistic. Don't say any of that shit. And just do your job. And whenever they need you to cover, like somebody calls in, be available to cover. And guess what? That's what he's been doing for several months. And he's joined the TCR chat. He's actually paying the $25 tier because now he's gainfully employed. And he was just in the uh, True Capitalist Radio member chat a few days ago. And he said, hey, Ghost, I'm sorry. I haven't been in here as of late. I've actually been out with friends. And I I've been doing activities outside. And I said, you know what, Barry Blackberry? I I'm happy for you. I mean, I'm proud of you. I'm proud that you went from a neat that everybody thought was just going to be a part of the, you know, this another tart in this community, and you completely turned it around by not only getting a job, but now, not only does he have a job, not only does he have uh, IRL friends, he's helping his mother with her situation, and 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 his family, his young uh, siblings, and 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 his single mother are looking to him as a man, as the man of the house now. All right. Shit head radio, fuck you. Yeah, thanks for the five bucks, jerk off. But now, all of a sudden, he's the man of the house. And he, you could hear him. You could hear it in his voice. He's got respect. You know, he's got some pride. He's got some integrity in himself. And it's because why? Everybody in the true capitalist radio chat, we're not about internet drama, name calling, trolling in there. All right? We don't talk about any fucking anime any of the fucking extracurricular activity. All we do is talk about serious issues, and it's not just politics. It's not just market. We talk about ourselves. We talk about what we do. We talk about things that, <laughs> that we need. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Vox Artificials with the pause my nag hole. That's great, dude. But look, I mean, we're, we're a support system. And I know a lot of these trolls are out here saying, oh, it's a safe space. It's a I don't give a shit what you call it. All right, you're a fucking loser, and you're going to continue to be a loser and claim the tarred card every fucking time when somebody like Barry Blackberry, all right, who's, I mean, you're probably, most people are probably a little more intelligent than Barry Blackberry, but guess what? He's doing his fucking job. He's got fucking friends. I mean, sooner or later, I would not be surprised if Barry Blackberry gets a girlfriend. All right, because that's what happens when you're out there in the world. That's what happens when you're out there working. That's what happens when you walk around with a different swagger because you got fucking money in your pocket and you work. So look, I mean, if you're a fucking neat, if you're somebody that's a failure to launch or you're having fucking trouble with yourself, I would suggest joining the True Capitalist Radio member chat. I'm in there almost every night. And you can talk to me personally, and we will help you try to be a better person for yourself, for your future, because you're going to live a long time. And unless you're going to fucking do something about it, I mean, you need some encouragement. You need some kind of support system. If you have nobody, if you have no significant other, if you have no fucking parents, you got no friends, you got no family that's going to support you, I am willing to do it. 
and I'm going to try to make as many berry blackberries as I possibly can. I did the same thing for 727 Caller. I did the same. I don't want to name drop all these kids. All right, these guys are in their 20s, but I'm just, I call them kids because I'm an old fuck, you know what I mean? And that, that's, that fuels me with optimism. That fuels me with, with happiness and joy. So look, I mean, if you're somebody that's in this rut that I'm talking about, that you're a young person, or hell, you're even uh, under the age of 40 or, or even older, and you're having a failure to launch situation, and you need some help, you need some inspiration, you need some kind of positive reinforcement, you need something to fall back on of people that have either been there or that have had those problems or that understand where you're coming from, then please, by all means, Think about becoming a True Capitalist Radio member, all right? And cheers to Barry Blackberry, and cheers to everybody in there who is now gainfully employed, working, and are being a productive <laughs> member of I'd society, man. Cheers to them all. Why would anyone want a girlfriend when there is hentai? <sighs> all right, you see what I'm talking about here? Anyway, Tesla Cyberheart uh, with a rumble rant said, To Barry Blackberry, <laughs> you're welcome. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Take what Ghost is saying seriously, guys. Just like Barry Blackberry, I am one of Ghost success stories. I recently went to my mom for a raise and my good boy points and now uh, I'm currently swimming in chicken tendies and Mountain Dew. That's not I'm Barry Blackberry. Or that's not fucking- <laughs> Shut up! It's not Jag Deluxe Ray. Most of those women get an education, get stressed the fuck out, pop out a kid, and never work again since daddy government pays their bills. I worked with women before and their effort is dog shit. Type 333 to kick Jag's mom in the oh, for having him. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I thought you were going to say something serious there, Anibus. What the hell was that? And, uh, Vox Art Officials, I don't know. The people seem to like Ghost Chan. I don't fucking care. I don't care, Vox. And Five Finger Prostate Punch, it was a team effort on Barry Blackberry. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was part of the fucking dome, and, the, uh, and, the, and now he's part of the True Capitalist Radio member chat, man. And uh, Valentine Ghost, how much is it to get on the credits, Ghost? Oh, you just fucking just throw a dono. All right, I mean, if, if it's a fiver, I'm going to put you, you know, kind of small, but, you know, it's bigger, obviously, I'll put you, I'll put you John Hancock size, depending on, you know, but it's just, that's for the next <laughs> enemy. All right, that's the next <laughs> enemy. And uh, Helmet Boy says, cheers to Barry Blackberry. Proud of you, brother. Hey, cheers to you, Helmet Boy, for giving props to Barry Blackberry, man. And look at Vox Art Officials. Happy for Barry Chad Barry. Sounds like he's really got things going together. He really does, and I'm proud of him. Remember, I used to hate on him. I used to talk shit about him. But the guy is uh, he, he's, hes doing well for himself. I'm proud of him, man. I, and I'd, I'd be just as proud of every one of you. But all you got to do is do it. Don't just sit there and do it. Uh... Five Finger Prostate Punch, I'm young and in a rut looking for inspiration. I joined the TCR. You're fuck, you you're got plenty of cash, dude. All right. And look, Vox Artificial, this ain't that fucking type of a show, man. All right. I, I'm trying to do the True Capitalist Radio Show here. All right. I get it. You're over there. You think you can call shots at the ghost show. This ain't that kind of show, man. All right. And Bad Gla Gambler, where the hell is my $5 lap dance you promised me with a green thong? What the fuck does that mean? And Valentine Broadcasting with a $10 rumble rant, I will definitely hook you up with a film credit, dude, or the next anime I put out there, Billy V or Valentine Broadcasting, either one. I'm going to get, I'm going to put you in there, man. Cheers to you. And what do you want, Vox? Jesus fucking Christ. Look, nobody gives a shit about your stupid fucking anime version of me, all right? Enough! All right, I get it. You're like the digital Hitler, all right? You got your. You keep getting rejected from art school, rejected from art school, rejected from art school, and before you know it, you're gonna get a have a fixation with or some shit. Jesus Christ! All right, let me take these last two donos from Buy Me a Coffee here. And uh, hold on, just a second. I don't understand why Buy Me a Coffee is fucking being such a jerk off, but here's one from Song Recommendations. I would like to hear your band, the Hambonios, play live. When will you make that happen? I really would like you to hear Slam the Ham play live, but I'd buy that love a fuck, dollar. don't actually slam the ham when you do. And there's Dick Orbill, who is now a member of the True Capitalist Radio member chat. Cheers to you, man. 
Actually, I think he's already, I think he already is a member. As a matter of fact, he paid for the year. Cheers to Duke Orville, man. Happy Taco Taco Tuesday. And uh, let me get to these uh, donations that came in. I don't understand why they're not uh, popping up on the list there. But Kits does a flip, did hook up something. And he said, wait, Ghost, uh, when you get to domestic politics, are you going to talk about RFK? Yes, I'm about to get there, by the way. Besides the major thing, him dropping out, there's also this shit about him. Saw so- I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that, Kits. I appreciate it. Cheers to you. And he says, I swear he's the ultimate shit post candidate. Well, thank you very much there, Kits. I appreciate it. And then we'll think about putting other people in as characters into the anime or something. I've thought about that, but we'll go ahead and do something like that. And we got Mr. Nguyen. I have idea for your anime. Make sure Viet Cong come in, ambush all your dirty monkeys, and then oh, spout for the great on. Ho Chi Minh. I really love the Communist Party of Vietnam and as the local commissar, it is required to stream in Vietnam. All right. All right, Mr. Nguyen. I think you're getting a little... Having too much white rice or something, man. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. Anyway, once again, I think, and I've been saying, even though nobody believed me, that, you know, they're going to lock us down again. Now, granted, RFK has a long history of attacking Trump, which seems to be prevalent. That's why I don't really care if Trump does become president and all the bad things I said about him, he seems to be okay with it. He seems to have some kind of a humiliation fetish or something. Can we please have a ghost and urinator love scene in the next cartoon? Absolutely fucking not. All right? Absolutely not. And Five Finger Prostate Punch, I'll pay to be in the anime just to let you know how much I'll send you script reading. I, I don't know. Well, I, let let me produce the next one first, all right? And Camaro RS09, this is my last dollar. I get paid next week, but put me in the credits. for a dollar. And what is this? Uh, I want on as the cred as Broly, look, and words be wilding. Um, Broly? And Alex the Resurrection, uh, there was a typo in my last Rumble rant. I was asking if you would produce a hentai of you and Pippa. By the way, please add me in the credit. I'd be f- I'd be stepping on uh, Face Connects nuts and shit. I can't really do that, man, all right? But cheers to you. And we got Mindmaster with a $10 rumble rant. You better put me in the anime credits, Ghost. Well, cheers to you, man. I mean, Jesus Christ, I'm going to have to fucking produce this anime and shit it out by next week and put all you guys in the credits, baby. And we've got Vox Art Officials. How much to pay you to finish Sega Girls? No. How about no? And then we got trolling the interwebs. To be fair, RFK is probably responsible for monkeypox for sticking his dick in a dead flamingo, something like that. Yeah, you know, I'm glad you brought that up, Troll in the Interwebs, because... And as you can see, there it is right there. I'd buy that for a dollar. Ruben Sim, put me in the credits! Ruben Sim! Is that the real Ruben Sim that wants to be put in the fucking credits? Are you serious? Uh, I'll, I'll put him in the credits, all right? I'll put you in the credits, man! But anyway, once again, I mean... What is up with RFK Jr., and how is this going to help Trump in any way? How is it? Shut up. This is not how Templeton died. Shut up. But I'm just saying, I mean, and it's not just this. This is not the only thing that he's admitted to. And Vox Art Officials, the next thing RFK Jr. will be saying that a suspicious ice cream trucks will be showing outside his home. That's what happens to me all the time, all right? All right, that's what happens to me all the time. But anyway, this is who is now supporting Trump. I'd buy that for a dollar. And what's going on, Waffins? I don't know why liberals are calling Vance weird when RFK Jr. exists. Trump 2024 ghost. The train is leaving the station. Hop on the grift. Vax India 2025. Wait, what? Vax India 20? What the fuck does that mean, for Christ's sake? Anyway, I don't know how the RFK thing helps Trump at all. Uh, I mean, I really don't. And... Another person from the left, which I think he should have chosen as his vice president. Put us in the credits. Jimmy Sav... Fuck you. Fuck you. Those are child molesters, you fucking asshole. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. You see what I gotta fucking put up with here? Put us in the credits. 
Anyway, Tulsi Gabbard has now endorsed Donald Trump five years after calling him corrupt and unfit. So that's why I'm saying, don't worry about it. Buy that for a don't dollar. worry about it. Trump will forgive me no matter what I say about him if he so happens to be president, which I don't think he is. All right? He seems to be forgiving everybody. And Animus, all he needs to do is bang his cousin to get the official redneck card. He's talking about RFK. Although she's probably dead too. That's, that's not funny because he's a Kennedy. Come on, man. But anyway, Tulsi Gabbard, and this is what I had suggested uh, earlier in this whole campaign, that if Trump really wanted to rabble-rouse the left, fuck that, all right? What about Harris? I don't give a shit about Harris, all right? You want to know why? Because Harris, she says that she's going to stick to the foreign policy, and if she's elected, I mean, I'll sleep a little better at night knowing that we're going to continue shoving it down fucking Russia's throat and China's fucking throat. All right? I'm going to sleep a little better at night. Piece of crap. Anyway, let me get to some of these. uh, Put the PC shot on. Let me get to some of these here. Uh, Once again, uh, Duke Orbell, cheers to you, man, and thank you very much. Uh, What is this? ZZZ, I want the creds as Broly look. N-words be wilding, please. And then Queen Goal, please, please put me in the credits. We're talking about the anime credits that I'm doing on my YouTube channel. Ruben Sim, I don't know if that's the real Ruben Sim, but we'll still put him in the credits either way. Satan AIDS also wants to be put into the credits. Somebody named Peppermint Swirl, not the real Peppermint Swirl, wants to also be put into the anime credits. And here's Jacef, 20 years from now, if he's still alive, Ghost will be bitching about COVID and why he still isn't voting GOP. No, you don't understand. All right, Jay Seb, what's going to happen here is that once the Republicans lose, all right, once they absolutely lose... I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, fuck you. And I know that's you, Vox, all right? Fuck you. Fucking piece of shit. All right, you know what? Now y'all are pissing me off, dude. All right, y'all, y'all are pissing me off. Stop this shit already, all right? All right, I'm trying to do a goddamn serious true capitalist radio show, and I certainly do not want to fucking continue with this troll terrorism garbage, all right? But anyway, that's all I care about is the foreign policy, all right? I want America to be the sole superpower for the next hundred years. And the only way we can do that is if we chop these other so-called superpowers down to size, and that's what the current foreign policy is doing, if you want my personal opinion. And they're accusing him of, uh, you know. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're going to put Peppermint in the credits, but not us. That's not fair. Dude, Jimmy Seville, <laughs> chul- no, Dude, shut up, all right? Shut the fuck up! Jesus Christ, man. I'm trying to talk about this Telegram founder, which in my opinion, I think that he purposely got arrested on purpose. And I think it's because Vladimir Putin, from what I've gathered, wanted to eliminate Pavel. I'm a Trump accelerationist. The faster Trump gets into office and leaves, the faster we can move on to a real political discussion. You will miss these days, Ghost. Nah, I ain't gonna miss it. What are you talking about, man? Miss what days? What are you talking about? I'm not a grifter. I'm not I'm not fucking <laughs> the quartering and, and all these people that are making fucking, you know, I don't know, fucking hundreds of thousands at least, fucking saying, pro-Trump, pro-Trump this. Oh, my God, Trump makes this fucking leftist lose it. Oh, my God, Trump fucking, you know, uh, Riz is there. I mean, give me a break, dude. You don't think that I could be making 10 times more money if I was just saying pro-Trump crap? Of course I would. But I'm not going to sit there and go against my principles, man. I'm not going to fucking continue to support a guy who didn't support the policies that he claimed that he was going to stand for in 16. All right? I'm not going to sit there and blindly fucking support this prick. Jesus Christ. And as I've stated... (laughs) I'd buy that As I've stated, okay? As I've stated... What we're trying to do here... So I'm telling you this right now. We're going to take it over. We're going to take it over. And this MAGA shit... We got to fucking cut it off in the past. All right? 
We got to cut it off in the past. And look at all you fucking pro-Trump people. You're all a bunch of cult of personality. I've been telling you, tell me the difference between Trump and Kamala Harris, other than one has a schlong and one doesn't. Huh? What's the difference? <laughs> Nothing except for poor, foreign now. policy. Nothing. Put us in the credits, too. Kids love anime. Oh, fuck you. Comet ping pong, you fucking junk. God, you. Fuck all you fucking sick macabre bastards, man. Fuck you all. All right, dude. I, you know what? Where's my pipe? Where's my pipe? I need to fucking smoke some tobacco, folks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm taking fucking time out of the show for this crap. But I've got I've to smoke some tobacco, man. I'm so sorry. All right? Jesus Christ. And look at this. We got Vox Art officials. I'm going to hop the border in November and illegal vote for Trump. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Thanks for, uh, you know, admitting you're fucking committing a crime. That's great, Vox. Real smart. Real Canadian of your ass, all right? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and smoke some uh, tobacco here. Once again, there's this not illegal contraband. And uh, the strain of tobacco is an oldie but goodie that I get from the Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. Uh, the strain of tobacco is called Mud Shark Dance Instructor, which I love. I mean, it is it is a decent strain. And let me go ahead and take a smoke. And I want to say cheers to everybody out there who is listening to the True Capitalist Radio Show. Happy Taco Tuesday. Cheers to each and every one of you. Let me go ahead and take a smoke here. All right, this is not illegal contraband. This is tobacco. All right, once again, Mud Shark Dance Instructor is the name of the strain. Cheers, baby, all right? Gotta hold it in, let it hit the brain, you know? Gotta hold it in, let it hit the brain, all right? Uh, all right. All right, now we're all right. Now we're okay, all right? Anyway, as I was stating, okay, this founder of Telegram, Pavel Durov, in my opinion, had a hit on him from Putin's goons. I mean, he went to France knowing the possibility of him being apprehended was very, very high, and the reason he did so... I'd buy that for a dollar. Ghost help. Peppermint's threatening to me on Twitter. I feel very uncomfortable oh, right Jesus now. Jesus Christ. HTTP I, you know what? I ain't got time for that shit, man. All right? I ain't got time for that crap, all right? This is not the ghost show. This is the true capitalist radio show, and I'd like for you people to take this shit serious. Anyway, as I was stating... I think Pavel was probably wanted by Putin and his goons, and he has been taken into custody in France for his own protection. All right? That's what I have gathered from my investigations, because, in my opinion, that's the only logical reasoning. Now, France is trying to say it's for the lack of sufficient content moderation. As I stated, I do believe that... <laughs> I'd buy that for the a hell? dollar. Can I get a shout out on your anime in the credits as well? All right, dude. Now y'all are starting to put fucking weirdos names in there. All right. Cut the crap. All right. Cut the crap. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, this is the retaliation by Russia. It's not conventional warfare. It's, it's just it's absolute terrorism, for Christ's sake. And by the way, uh, uh, Anibis said uh, from the Trump website, and I quote, Cut the funding from any school pun, uh, funding CRT, racial, gender, ideology, and other I'd sexual inappropriate... Yeah, okay, Could dude. I get a shout-out in the anime? All right, Kiro the Wolf. All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you for saying that, Anibis. He also says he's going to crack down on immigration, but you heard him clearly. Trump is willing to hand out green cards, even to people that go to junior college for two years and get an associate's degree. Uh, so come on, Maine, all right? But anyway, as I was stating, here we are, uh, you know, Russia committing acts of terrorism as a... I'd buy that for a dollar. Can I get a shout out in the anime? You sick fucking son of a bitch. The kid in Peppermint's basement, asshole. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? All right, dude, I'm getting tired of this. I'm already getting tired of this goddamn show, man, all right? I'm getting tired of it. And what is it? Stream troll Mike? Damn, LOL. LOL. Listen, shut the fuck up, all right? I'm trying to talk about serious fucking shit. Son of a bitch.
I'm trying to talk about serious shit here. All right, I'm talking about the fucking Ukraine Russia shit. Put the PC shot on. As I stated, here's the map. Here is the incursion area. All right. If they plug them up going north, as I stated, they're going to pull an Alexander the Great type of a military operation. Because all they have to do is curve themselves down south. And what they'll do is they're going to flank these particular regions right here. From the back and the front. And I'm not talking about a spit roast, okay? Now, this, I believe, is going to happen if they do plug them up at north. But as I just told you, the the Russians are just drone attacking and missile attacking as opposed to actually getting conventional forces because their conventional forces are holding down the fort in these regions. Can I get a shout-out in the anime? All right, dude, let me tell you something. Whoever the hell's donating these names, I hope you get fucking cancer of the cock, you fucking piece of shit. All right? I'm trying to talk about this Russia-Ukraine shit. All right? Cut the shit already. Oh, my God. And what is this? Uh, Vox Artificials. What did Putin say to Zelensky about the invasion? Crimea River? Crimea River. All right, dude. I look, I- I'm trying to continue to do this show. I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks, man. I'm trying to talk about international relations here. But unfortunately, I've got a bunch of dickheads over here thinking they're so cute. And I'm tired of it, man. All right, I'm fucking tired of it. Give me a smoke. I'm just holding it. You got to hold it and hit the brain, all right? Anyway, as I was stating, all right, if the Russians plug them up from the north, they will curve into this region from the south and attack. But anyway, the prognosticators of prognosticators are striking again. They are now invading Belgrade so that if they have Belgrade and Kursk under their control... I'd buy that for a dollar. Elliot Ro- All right, dude. I think I'm going to fucking end the show, dude. I, I, you know what I mean? Give me a fucking break. Elliot Rogers, can you put me in the fucking... Co- Fuck off. And by the way, I don't know why these damn buy me a coffees are not showing up, but I'm going to go ahead and read some of these. Um... Yeah, fuck you, Jace. I've already said yours. Uh, Hair of the dog simp. Real funny. Uh, Tretchman. uh, Hey, Ghost, I was listening on my break, and I couldn't agree more with what you said about how the public education system, uh, what it does to the psyche of these kids. It fucked me up years ago. And even though I have a successful life and I'm financially comfortable and have a good social and dating circles, a part of me will probably always be a little scared loser I used to be back then. Fuck them all. Cheers to you for saying it. Well, thank you for sharing that with us there, Tretchman. Cheers to you, and, you know, thank you for sharing that story. I'm pretty sure people appreciated that, man. And uh, we got Maury Cap- uh, Calipo- Calipi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Maury Calipi. Uh, Ghost hates Trump and Peter Thiel because he wants J.D. Vance to himself. Fuck off. And then, of course, some idiot named Elliot Rogers telling me to put him in the anime credit. Give me a fucking break. Elliot fucking Rogers, asshole. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some treasure... I'm going to put some lemons in the treasure chest for D-Live, all right? I'm going to put 2,000 lemons in the treasure chest for the D-Live folks, all right? Because they're the only chat that's decent, man. Without talking crap. Every chat everywhere (laughs) else talks shit. Can I also get a shout out in your anime? Christopher Paul Neal, aka Mr. Swirl. <sighs> oh my god. I, I I can't take this shit anymore, man. I can't take this shit. And Vox Artificials, could you please give me a pay raise? Alright, I'm not I, I wouldn't pay you diddly, alright? I wouldn't even pay you attention, son of a bitch. Alright? So anyway, look. I'm just simply telling you all right now. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Jared Fogle? F- fuck you! All right? I've had enough of this shit. All right? Stop pretending to be pedophiles and say, hey, can I get a credit into the anime? Cut the shit! Jesus Christ, man. I'm over here. I'm fucking 
I'm shooting pearls at you fucking people. I'm shooting pearls at your asses, man. Jesus fucking Christ, man. You know, let me tell you something. You fucking stupid little losers are lucky that you're not in front of me. Or or if I wasn't your fucking stepdaddy, boy, you understand? I would take my fucking, take my fucking belt off, man. I'd take my fucking belt off and I'd take you to the woodshed, boy. I'd take you to the fucking woodshed and fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, boy. Yeah, yeah. I ain't made a man of you yet, boy. I'll take you to the fucking woodshed. Will you give me a shout out? Fuck you, man. Fuck all you goddamn trolls. You make me sick. You all make me fucking sick. And look at him in the fucking chat room. Spank me harder, daddy. Look at these fuckers in the fucking chat room. Spank me fuck. Oh, God, dude. I'm fucking sick, man. I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking... God damn fucking son of a fucking fuck, dude. Why don't you all fuck off? Why don't you all fuck off? I'm tired of that shit, man. I'm tired. I'M TIRED! Jesus Christ, Puerto Rican prostate puncher with a fucking rumble rant. Put my name in the credits, Cold Steel Cruise. Animus, take your belt off so that oh, urinator can I'd put- buy that for What? A dollar. Fuck you, Animus! And what is this, George Floyd? George Floyd? For our dear PSYOP friend, Now take Jonathan it off at the docks, man! Take down. it off at the fucking docks! God damn it, cut it, it out, man! Just dollar. cut it out! Can you put me on the credits? Oh. Since you copied my show and all. I'm that's it, dude. I'm fucking done with this stupid fucking You all can go fuck yourselves, dude. Alright? And look at Vox Art Officials. We love you, Dad! Fuck you! Fuck you! And wait a minute. D Duke Orbill, $50 for the Radio Graffiti Fund! The Radio Graffiti Fund! Oh, God damn it! God. You stupid son of a bitch! God! Run! I'd buy that for a dollar. Marina Amarbravik, dude. All right, go fuck, fuck off, all of you, the whole fucking lot of yous, man. Fuck off. Just fuck the fuck off. Jesus Christ, look at the Silverado, dude. Stop before you ruin your $200 belt. Yeah, fuck you too, man. Fuck all of you, man. I'm fucking dumb. I deserve more respect, you know that? I deserve more respect. Good God. I'd buy that for a dollar. Could I also be credited in your next oh, anime fuck episode? Off. I peered through the dimensional fuck portal you. to the universe of your anime and the people. No, get off! It's a fucking nice. dox. There's a dox. Fucking god damn it! God damn it! Man. Cut out! Cut! 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 God damn it! I'm fucking tired of this shit, man. I'm tired, dude. I don't want to fucking do this goddamn show anymore, man. I'm fucking tired of this shit, man. I don't want to do this shit anymore. For a dollar. Fuck you and your fucking shut up, man. Stick your fucking shut up, you fucking goddamn clogged up pooper, man. I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking tired of this crap. Jesus Christ! I'd buy that for a dollar. Adolf, uh, fuck off. Adolf fucking Hitler. Dude, listen. Y'all need to fuck the fuck off, dude. Seriously. Y'all need to fuck the fuck off. Alright, seriously, man. Y'all need to fuck the fuck off. I'm trying to talk about shit here. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. Fucking piece of shit. I'm sorry, folks. I know some of you want the, the serious stuff here, and... I'd buy that for a dollar. I like the way you whip boys with your belt. I respect it. Queen Gold. Who the, what the fuck is going on here? Dude, what the hell is going on here? Look at all these fucking idiots. Put the PC shot on. Look at all these fucking idiots. All right? 
Look at this fucking hair of the dog simp. There's Trenchman. Thank you, Trenchman. There's Mary Calipoli. There's fucking Elliot Roger. Jared fucking Fogel. George Floyd. Marina Amabravic. Adolf fucking Adolf fucking Hitler. Fuck you, dude. And Queen <laughs> Gold. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Can I get a shout out? I'm a huge you're, fan. You're a I'd fucking jerk off, dude. Steven Paddock was the guy that offed all those people in that Vegas mass shooting, you sick fucking pe You guys are sick fucks, dude. You know that? And what is it? Marina, another Marina Amabravic, really, dude? The fuck did you say? Add me to your credits so we can destroy the Zionist menace. I don't know. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'd buy that for a Pimpkin dollar. Pippa! Hey, ex-lover, can I get a shout-out the next episode? Dude, whoever the fuck's doing that, dude, why you gotta bring up old shit, man? All right, why do you gotta bring up old shit, man? Especially the Pimpkin Pippa shit. Why you gotta bring up that shit, man? I don't want to talk about that shit, man! I don't want to talk about that shit, man! Fuck! All right, man, I'm sorry. Look, I, I gotta... I, I, need, I need to do me right now. I'm doing me right now. All right? I'm I'd doing me. What the fuck? Dollar. Harvey fucking Weinstein. Damn. I wish I was your lover. I fuck you till the daylight comes. Oh, Make sure you God. are smiling and warm. I am everything tonight. I'll be your mother. I'll do such things to ease your pain, free your mind, and you won't ashamed. Shout an anime, please. Dude, uh, f uh, fuck you. you. Fuck Harvey Weinstein. Go fuck yourself, man. Jesus fucking Christ. And what, we got Stream Troll Mike with a rumble rant. Wait, don't go. We haven't even gotten to play Poyo Poyo yet. And by the way, fuck you for making me play that on the ghost show. I'm a laughing stock all over fucking YouTube now because I didn't know how to play Poyo Poyo. All right? Everybody thinks I'm a fucking idiot now because I don't know how to play the fucking weirdo version of Tetris. That's fucking great. I'm the, that makes me feel so much better now. Yeah, that's fucking good. Fuck all of you people. Let me have another fucking smoke. I'm sorry, folks. All right, I gotta, I gotta take a smoke here. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Can I get uh, in the credits of your anime? Keffels, you fucking jerk! <laughs> fucking Keffels! If you don't know who Keffels is, good for you. All right, don't look it up. And Vox Art Officials, another two more dollars for the Poyo Poyo fund. I'm not fucking doing that stupid <laughs> shit. I'd buy that for Jerry a Sandusky! Huge fan. We'd love to get in the credits with the boys. Jerry Sand... Dude, what are you fucking people talking about? Enough of this crap! Enough! <laughs> are you I'd fucking... John Wayne Gacy! I also admire your ability to whip young, neat boys with belts. Young, neat boys with... But you fucking motherfuckers, dude. You fucking pieces of... I NAMBLA! NAMBLA! Can you get a shout out to the one of the watchers of your show? Fucking NAMBLA! Fuck! Fucking NAMBLA! Fuck you! I'd buy that for a dollar. Fuck! More Puyo Puyo or Sega Girls? Which one would you rather be donated? I don't! I, I fucking Puyo don't! Puyo I don't! Two for Sega Girls. Three for a different video game. I don't! Game. Four to kick Shut up! In the balls. Greater than less than greater than shut less than greater than 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 Jesus Christ, man. Oh. I'd buy that for a Dude, dollar. you guys are gonna have to give me Put a me fucking break, man! Credits. Billions must shoot. You guys are gonna have to give me a fucking break, man. I mean, this is this is fucking too much, man. This is fucking overwhelming. All I want to do is just try to spark synapses in the brains of folks that are listening to the broadcast. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to do. And instead, what do I have, man? Another but a bunch of fucking troll terrorists and cyber vermin, man, with their fucking teeth hanging out. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Anubis. Yeah. Oh, you want to be in the anime? Hey, oh, great. <laughs> That's great. That for a dollar. <laughs> Give me I'd a shout out. Goofy a Bone. 
goofy fucking bald, and there's Satan AIDS. He was... Dude, I think I, I think I created a monster. <laughs> I'd buy that for a I dollar. Think, <laughs> I think. his fruitcake text, and here's another beer for the Poyo Poyo fun next time. All right, dude. I don't. I'm not fucking. Dude, I'm not turning into a game streamer. Right? That that Poyo Poyo shit. That that humiliated me, man. They're talking all kinds of shit. I'd buy that for a dollar. No. Oh fuck I'm you! To be I'd buy your that anime. Fuck you! Dollar. No, I'm not putting Mister Fucking Medicare on my shit. Fuck you! And I'm not going to put that satanic bitch Marina Amabravic either. Fuck you! <laughs> I'd buy that for oh, a dollar. Shit. Eric fucking Harris. That was one of the Columbine kids, you sick fuck. That was one of the Columbine kids. <sighs> All right, folks. Look, I'm sorry. I, I don't know how much longer I can take of this, man. I'm going to be completely fucking honest with you, man. I wanted to talk about China. At least, you know... Fucking Jake Sullivan, all right, who's the fucking, uh, what is it, the fucking senior fucking national security advisor out there, just made a secret trip to China, and it certainly ain't about fentanyl, all right? This is yet another symbol that China is, it wants to open up. It, it wants to do business back with the United States. But we got to make fucking China suffer for a little bit, all right? Because they thought they could get uppity. They thought they could saber rattle. And guess what? The United States said, hey, bitch, you're going to saber rattle with us? We don't give a fuck. And you heard, I, I, I mean, oh, if you heard on the news, I forgot to put it as an article up here, but in March... <laughs> Bye. Bye oh, fuck you. Can you also come teach us how to properly whip those boys? Dude, whoever the hell is donating is Nambla. You're a fucking sick piece of shit. You know that? You're a sick fuck. <laughs> I'd buy that. Oh, for great. A Here's Meno Ray. I'd like to start as the combat veteran for your next anime episode. You know what, Meno Ray? You're a piece of crap, too, man. I, I, you know, you've been donating me for the past a couple of years, and all you do is shit talk. And degrade me, all right? And your buddy urinator, he sexually harasses me. I mean, I'm not even joking around. I feel like I've already been half-assed <laughs> by urinator for the type of crap he says. I'd buy that for a dollar. Anyway, there's Dar Dylan Klebold. Uh, Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ! All right, look. Once again, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan in China, as I'm saying... This is China bowing down, in my opinion, all right? This is China bowing down, in my opinion. <laughs> I'd buy that Dan for a dollar. Dollar. Can you I get a shout-out? You fucking... That's the fucking My Little Pony and fucking Sophia fan fucking... That gigantuan tard that should be fucking moving appliances instead of being a neat... All right, anyway, Helmet Boy, you've got a lot of shout-outs this next episode. Yeah, no shit. No shit. All right, folks. Look, I'm sorry, you know, that we're... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Dude, uh, you guys, come on, man! And how come this fucking goddamn stupid fucking buy me a coffee won't show the goddamn buy me a coffee, for Christ's sake? I'd buy sake. that for a dollar. The Hitler Youth... <laughs> Dude, I don't understand why it's not showing me these. Uh, maybe maybe it'll update here in a minute or something. Maybe I'll come back to it. It's nothing but a bunch of weirdo serial killers trying to get credit in the next anime that I'm going to produce. But anyway, as I was stating, even though National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is in China... <laughs> I'd buy that uh, for Charlie a now, Charlie. Can I get a shout-out in the next episode? Dude, can you just leave me? Can't you all just fucking leave me alone, man? Just leave me alone, man! I'm tired of this crap! I'm tired! God damn it, man! I'm sorry, I gotta take another smoke. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I know, I gotta take some more cheers of tobacco. I gotta take some more tobacco, man. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying, dude. I don't even know what I'm saying. Got a hold in the brain. Trolling the interwebs. We're not doing no fucking Twitter shoutouts, dude, all right? It's bad enough that I may have to do a fucking radio graffiti at the end of this fucking goddamn show. I certainly do not want to do any Twitter shoutouts for these pricks. 
Anyway, as I was stating, even though Jake Sullivan, the National Security Advisor of America, is in China, and China seems to be bowing down, take a look at this. The United States is open to escorting Philippine ships in the South China Sea, Senior Admiral says. So once again, this potential... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Alexander the Resurrection. Well, we'll add you, all right? Just as long as you don't talk about your fucking snake ass and how you got ripped off and shit. But anyway, as I was stating, the U.S. military is now stating in public that it's open. Well, while all this is going on, while you got Jake Sullivan, which is the National Security Advisor in China... I'd buy that for a dollar. Well, I must go now. I need to reach a new state of enlightenment. Dude, that's... It's been a gas. Dude, that's the fucking leader of that cult that anthrax the fucking subway in Japan or some shit. Can y'all shut up? Anyway, as Jake Sullivan is in China, as we have an admiral saying that we will escort Philippine ships in the South China Sea, Jake Sullivan, Andrew Sullivan is that homosexual fucking political commentator. Jake Sullivan is the national security advisor. But it makes sense. It does make sense. Oh, God. Come on, man. And why doesn't this goddamn buy me a coffee update itself? And Vox Artificial said, I guess you could say you really didn't G him. All right, real funny. Look, I'm going to show all these uh, at some point during the show, but for whatever reason, uh, buy me a coffee is not like updating its shit. It's, all, it's only the queen goal. Which, I don't know what they've done. They used to be able to, you know, you'd be able to fucking refresh it and I'd be able to show you. But let me just give everybody a shout out since I've had so many fucking people donate here of all kinds of people supposedly wanting to be a part of the of the credit portion of the latest anime. But we have Marina Amabravic who said, add me to your credits. We got Pipkin Pippa, which we know is the fake one. Hey, lover, can I get a shout out next episode? Sasu Frasu, you jerk off. Who the fuck donated a Sasu Frasu? Shout out next episode. Who the fuck donated a Sasu Frasu, dude? Uh, we got Hitler Youth. We'd like to be in the anime. Fucking Hitler Youth. Satan AIDS. Hey, bro, can I get a shout out in the credits, my dude? Fruitcake Texan. Here's another beer for the Poyo Poyo Fun next time. Me, when you boot it up, and I'll give you a crash course on disruption, garbage chaining, and tailing. I once got my dick sucked because of how impressive of a Poyo game player I was. Jesus Christ. And before you ask, it was a girl. But I have to admit, she did have a penis. Of course she did. Thank you, Fruitcake Texan. And Marina Amabravic, add me too again. And then Eric Harris, shout out next anime episode. And then Dylan Klebold, me too. Me and Eric love your show. And then we got Froppy here. And Froppy said, uh, since I'm literally based off an anime girl, can I be in your anime? I, will, I won't have to say ribbit, and you don't have to play Poyo Poyo. Just let me join. Our younger members are tomorrow's shock troops when they get too old. Looking forward to our shout out. <sighs> Dude, stop donating his fucking mambler, you piece of crap, all right? And Hitler Youth wants uh, anime credits. Alexander the Resurrection, don't forget to add me to the credits, which we will. And Peter Scully, I saw a teenage boy at the end of your anime during that closeout song. If you want to make a show with kids in it, I think you should really use my production, sir. You fucking, you sick fucking piece of shit. All right, you're a sick fucking piece of shit, all of you. All right? All of yous, man. You're fucking sick. Anyway, where were we? Yeah, that's right. Japan is protesting after Chinese reconnaissance plane violates its airspace. But I do not think that China is going to be a belligerent much longer. Uh, they're going to go out here and wreak havoc in Pakistan because there is a massive amount of investment from China into Pakistan. Uh, we've talked about it. The Belt Road Initiative, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, uh, they've been trying to build this, and China has spent billions of dollars <laughs> building the infrastructure. Oh, you piece of shit. Sure is hot down here, but can I get a shout-out, too? You piece of shit. 
You goddamn motherfuckers. Rock Ape was an inner circle member that died of cancer, you sick fucking pieces of trash. You sick pieces of shit. I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, this is an audio file, folks, all right? Please, this is an audio file. I don't know what the hell that's about to play. Jesus Christ, this is a horrible show. I'm sorry y'all have to put up with this. I really am. Uh, what the hell is this crap? What is this crap, man? I mean, come on! I'm sorry. I'm sorry we're listening to this. Alright, shut this stupid, dumb, repetitive, autistic shit up already! Shut it up! I'm sorry we have to hear this shit. I'm sorry. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you put me in your Why credits? are y'all going there with Rock Ape, man? Rock Ape was an inner circle member that died of cancer! He died of cancer! God damn it! Oh my God. And trolling the interwebs, how do you protest a foreign country? That's the dumbest fucking protest George Soros could ever pay for. All right, thank you, trolling. Uh, I, look, I, I am I'm just so done with this shit, all right? I'm talking about how Pakistan is having all kinds of terrorism in order. And as I prognosticated, I prognosticated this about six to eight months ago. And they're going to want to recoup something on their investment. And the only way to do that... I'd buy that for a dollar. Rock, ape, and roll. Dude, come on, man. Come on, man! I'm tired of this shit! Anyway, take a look at this. Pakistan Prime Minister says that militant attacks aimed at thwarting China cooperation. Oh! Oh! You know, what the hell's happening with fucking Iran, for Christ's sake? Well, we've been expecting Iran and their supposed <laughs> response. for a dollar. Put me in the credits, please. American Ambassador. Also, please cover the situation in our country. Thank you very uh, much, Mr. Gr ambassador, Greenland. sir. It is very serious and deserves your attention, Mr. Ambassador, sir. Greenland? Thank you very much, Mr. Fatasader. Fucking Greenland? Anyway, we've been awaiting this supposed uh, response, remember, uh, from Iran, because supposedly... They believed Israel assassinated the leader of Hamas. And that's why you're not seeing a response from Iran. Because Iran knows <laughs> what's happening. i buy that for a dollar. All right. Iran knows that, you know, they've been duped. And that if they're going to go put boots on the ground, it's not because Israel hit them up or hit up the head of Hamas in Tehran. It was because Hamas did it to themselves, trying to dupe Iran into this conflict. And it looks like Iran is not going to take the bait. Have you seen the latest? So there you go with Iran, folks. All right, there you go. I mean, I tried to give you as much as I possibly could when it comes to international relations, but, you know, I've been bombarded by a bunch of troll terrorists and cyber vermin. But look, let's get to totally useless news, folks, all right? How about that shit? Now, this is a pretty interesting story. I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, I don't know if this is humorous or a sign of the times. I don't even know what you say about this. But put the PC shot on. Child that was reported missing in Midwood, Brooklyn, was found with the help of a chopper. And what he was doing, folks, he was actually playing hooky from school. He was playing hooky from school. I am not joking around. Let's hear this. My PD reported a missing child today in Brooklyn. We immediately sent Chopper 2 to the scene. What we didn't realize is that it would play a crucial role in finding the boy. Hannah Klieger talks to Dan Rice, who's been a helicopter I mean, look at that. Are you kidding decades, me? Look at that rooftop. I would quit school to hang out on that rooftop. Look at that. It looks fucking great. Are you kidding me? That's badass. This is a first for him. 
Police say the young boy was last seen leaving for school from his home on Avenue P in Midwood around 7 a.m., but he never showed up at school. That's when his loved ones became worried. Our newsroom launched Chopper 2 to this scene to see what was going on, and that's when photojournalist Dan Rice... Look, he's on his laptop! On he's he's on building. Discord! I looked down at my notes. I see what uh, the assignment desk had He's on me, the rooftop and I see what the child on was Discord. wearing. I look back at the child, and that child was wearing everything that's in the description. He looked to be about nine years old. Man, Our parents just don't understand. Police and Chopper waited overhead until they arrived. Oh, fuck he off. He was listening to TCR. Go fuck and yourself. And goes off with the uh, police officers. They looked back at our helicopter, gave us a big thumbs up, and took the child down uh, to his parents. This man says he was on the roof earlier today and saw the child. When I went up there with my wife to have co coffee, it was about 8 o'clock. There's a swinging bench up there, sort of. And the kid was sitting in the bench, playing on his iPad. But didn't think anything of it until he heard what happened. I thought his parents gave him permission to go up there. I didn't even think that, you know, why would the kid, I, I didn't even think why would the kid be up there, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's a community place. Neighbors say they're relieved to hear he's okay. That's really exciting. I'm very proud of you guys for finding him. <laughs> and as you can imagine, so are we. Well, to be able to find that child for the parents down in that building. Now, can you believe really that? gratifying experience. Can you, can you believe that? Some little brat didn't want to go to school. He wanted to hang out with his boys on Discord. So he quit school, goes into you know, it's a fairly decent little apartment building there. I like that rooftop. I mean, just just imagine barbecuing on that rooftop, baby. But that's your first totally useless news segment of today. Here's another totally useless news segment. And once again, sign of the times, folks. Midland officers discuss encounter with quote rooftop ninja. Now let me you know surmise this for you. This broad was found living inside of a retail sign. I'm not joking with you. She had been living there for months inside of a retail sign. Play this shit. I'm Every time I talk to her, uh, she's she's very polite. She's very cordial. Um, and she just, she would never want any help. Two of the police officers who responded to a call of a woman living in a store sign talk about their encounter that drew national attention. Earlier this week, we showed you some of the Midland Police body camera footage of how officers dealt with a homeless woman who was living inside the store sign. And today we learn police have had more contact mm -hmm. with the 34-year-old woman. And Terry, the mystery of how she got on the roof of the yeah. Family Fair I store mean, might be break. solved. <laughs> Yes, so when police asked her back in the late April how she got on the roof, she didn't answer. But Officer Jeff Krause has an idea now as he had another encounter. Inside with a of a fucking sign. If that's a family member of yours or if that's a family member of mine, everybody gets treated with respect. That's Midland Police Officer Look Jeff Krause up on Look the roof this. of the Family Fair store on April 23rd, called there after a contractor discovered a woman was living inside the sign. Kraus and Officer Pam Keister convinced the woman Pam to leave Keister. and both have been praised for how they handled the unusual situation. At this point, you're not in any trouble whatsoever. How long have you been up here? About a year. Kraus a says year. he had three previous encounters in the city with the woman who is now known as the year. rooftop ninja due to how she dresses and where she once resided. I would always ask her, you know, uh, do you need anything from us? That's that's kind of our typical response. Kraus and Sergeant Jeremy Davis, who serves as a police liaison with the homeless community, say helping the homeless is part of their jobs. We've encountered a few last year that are just, this is just how I do things. This is how I live. This is how I choose to do it. And and I don't I don't want to go to any, well, any shelter. We should, we should throw them in jail. They were both surprised at the woman's right, explanation on how she ended up in the store sign. There's like certain spots that when... Um, certain events start to take place that are considered like safe spots. This is hmm. one of them. I got gotcha. you. Not anymore. To hear that there's, you know, this term safe places where, where people can go to, to hide out, um, news to me. A week oh, after the woman was removed from the All rooftop, right. Krauss hey. responded to I'm tired of, you know, putting these homeless on some kid gloves or something. All right. Oh, this is how they choose to live. This is how they do it. Hey. Uh, well, then get the fuck off my private property, you fucking stupid squatting piece of fucking shit. All right. I'm tired of the homeless. But you know what? I don't really blame them. You know who I blame? I blame all of you. All you fucking people that give these 
stupid fucking homeless people money. I blame you. They're the reason why they think homelessness is actually a lucrative living proposition. I mean, I've actually talked to these homeless people. And I, I'm not even joking. There's a, there used to be, oh, fuck, there still is, actually. Over there in Austin, shitload of homeless. You can go and talk to them, and they'll tell you, like, there was one homeless guy that all he does all day is try to go up to people, and if he can't get anybody, he'll look on the ground and see if there's any pennies, dimes, quarters, any of that shit. All right? Any of that shit. And when he gets his money, because, you know, he pulled out a wad of cash. You know, I think I told this story before. He pulled out a wad of cash, and and I go, man, well, you know, why don't you get yourself a place to stay? Why don't you get yourself, like, a motel that charges by the day or something? He's like, nah, man, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play the lottery. This idiot takes, I don't know, however many hundreds of dollars a day. Yeah, he he makes hundreds of dollars a day being a fucking bum. I'm not joking around. And he plays the lottery. And he thinks that he's going to win, I don't know, the big fucking lottery, millions of dollars, and that he'll never have to work again and he can live like a fucking drunken, you know, drug addict fucking bum the rest of his life. I am not kidding. So in my opinion... I think we need to jail the homeless. All right? I think that's more humane than letting them stay out in the elements and stay out in the street and, you know, sleep in puddles of piss. I think they need to be put in... I'm not saying they need to be put in maximum security or they need to be thrown in, uh, you know, with fucking killers and murderers and shit. But I think they need to be separated from regular, decent civil society. And I'm not saying that they have to be there forever. I mean, they just have to be there to be rehabilitated, you know? And, and there needs to be a re- rehabilitation process that, you know, gets these people off drugs and gets these people off alcohol and cleans them up and, you know, gives them some fucking menial job and force them on that job. And if they go homeless again, we throw them in jail. I'm sorry, dude. I don't believe... I, I do not feel sorry for the homeless at all. I don't feel sorry for the homeless. I feel sorry for working poor people. And I'm talking about people that are... You know they're 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 pay, they're getting paid meager wages. They don't collect entitlements, and yet they're barely getting by. That's who I feel sorry for. I don't feel sorry for anybody else. I don't feel sorry for anybody else. I, I, I don't feel sorry for single mothers. Are you kidding me? Single mothers is big business. The more kids you have, the more money you make, whether it's from the government or child support lottery system or whatever. All right. I certainly don't feel sorry for for fucking the po in America. I've said this time and time again. Go to your poorest part of town and go to that grocery store if it isn't a food desert because of all the goddamn robberies and thievery. But go to your goddamn grocery store in the poorest part of town and take a look at all the fat, morbidly obese people waddling around. That's why I'm telling you, do poor people get fat? And if you say yes because, oh, well, it's the food they eat, well, then why don't you go tell that to the fucking starving kids in Africa right now, all right? I'd love, you know what, that'd be good fucking content. Why don't you go take a whole shitload of, quote, goy slop, what many of you people call processed food, take a whole bunch of it out there to Africa, show it to a bunch of hungry African kids, and right when they're about to touch it and get a piece of it, you say, ah, ah, ah. You can't do this because this food is bad for you, okay? And you see, if we were to allow you to eat this food, you'd be morbidly obese fat fucks like us in America, and you don't want to do that. So this is bad for you. I mean, give me a break, man. All right, give me a fucking break. Vox Artificial, the laptop kid, was playing Poyo Poyo. Yeah, real funny. Uh, We got uh, Five Finger Prostate Punch, so he had... His own TCR safe space. Shut up about the fucking kid. President Jay says the guy who employs illegals to do his yard work. They also wrong about that. They're appreciative. As a matter of fact, the same illegals have been working on my yard for the past year and change, and they're grateful. All right, I give them free tacos and shit. All right, and fucking uh, I don't know. They they like fucking uh, Mexican cokes and shit. All right, so they get a free meal with me on top of whatever I'm paying them. So shut your ass. Vox Artificial says, eat the homeless. I didn't say eat the homeless, asshole. Uh, Vox Artificial forcibly relocate these homeless people to Montreal and then nuke it. Uh, Trolling the interwebs, homeless people need labor camps. I do agree with this. 
And then the migrants can integrate into society by starting the, uh, starting in these homeless labor camps. That's not a horrible idea. I'm, I'm not joking. That's not a horrible idea. So cheers to, uh, once again, trolling the interwebs, all right? All right, folks, look, uh, Duke Orville and a couple of other people donated some generous sums for me to at least do a little bit of radio graffiti, all right? I'm not going to do a whole bunch of it because I'm, I'm on a lot longer than I anticipated. It's already three hours and six minutes here, but I'm going to go ahead and do radio graffiti. But before I do, I have to go ahead and uh, sign off on YouTube and on X so that we don't get into any kind of trouble over there because of what other people are saying, not me. So I do want to say cheers to everybody on X. we got 500 people listening right now on X. 500 people listening. So cheers to the folks on X. And cheers to the folks on YouTube. And by the way, uh, if you want to figure out when I'm going to do another show, then I would strongly suggest to you follow me on X or Twitter. All right? And get a free account. It's not a big fucking deal. And follow me at The Ghost Report. All one word, no underscores, The Ghost Report. It's the easiest microblog. I got to hand it to Elon Musk. It's it's as free speech as you can make it, in my opinion. And I like the product. All right? I like the fucking product. And for you that don't listen, look at this. Hold on. For, for those that don't believe me, look, look at this. Look at how many people are watching. All right? Look at that. 512 people watching right now all right so cheers to all those folks that are watching on x all right cheers to you and uh also the folks on youtube we're gonna have to go ahead and wind it down but if you want to hear the rated graffiti portion of the broadcast we are going to be live on kick we're going to be live on rumble especially vaughn not live trovo and be live. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on just a second. Hold on. Wait a minute. We just got uh, we just got this uh, donation. Now, I, I don't know if this is going to show up on the... Uh, no, it's not showing up on the goddamn buy me a coffee. Anyway, Dan Schneider, some idiot claiming to be Dan Schneider, saying he wants to be in the next anime episode and hopes there's a foot fetish scene with, with, with me and Mega Max... And uh, Dominator444, uh, with a whole bunch of numbers after it, uh, bought five beers and said, Greeting, my fellow capitalist skeleton intelligence person. The Skelecorps Ape has arrived to your presence, Tom Pearl, the video Bill Jensen. All right, well, we're, we're going to get to that the next ghost show, all right? We're not doing videos here this evening. All right? We're not doing videos. So, look, I'm going to sign off right now. To the folks that are over there listening on YouTube and on X, cheers to you all. I may do another ghost show. I'm going to do a ghost show, I should say, before Friday or on Friday. Okay? So let me repeat that one more again. I'm going to do a ghost show possibly before Friday or on Friday. It depends. All right? It absolutely depends. But anyway, cheers to everybody out there on YouTube and on X. If you want to listen to the rest of the show, we're still on on Kick on Rumble, on Vaughn, on Trovo, on DLive. So cheers to everybody out there on X and YouTube. I appreciate you. All right, spread the word about the show because, you know, I, I am the underground. All right, I'm the Internet underground, for Christ's sake. All right, none of these algorithms want any of me or any of the trolls that listen to me, for that matter. Anyway, cheers to all of you. Until next time, I'm out of here. Ha, 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 ha.